Hello and welcome to Shredder Zoo. Thank you so much for joining me for today. My name is Shredder and this is my zoo. And today is a very special episode because for once in a very, very long time, I'm not alone. I have a friend with me. This is Tag from Tagback TV. Check out his channel. His links will be in the description. Now, he is a fantastic creative builder and he's done some amazing builds. And I've actually invited him onto the server today to actually help me out and to be a guest builder for today's inclusion. Uh, so we've uh, been flying around, I've given him a tour of the zoo and uh, we've selected this kind of area here which is right by the uh, Thylacoleo and the Ankylosaur exhibit. There's a nice uh, empty space here and we're going to be building an enclosure for the uh, Calicotherium. Now full disclosure, uh, we are going to be doing it in creative so we are spawning things in and that sort of thing and uh, as you can see I'm flying, we have ad admin commands on today. So uh, yes we are cheating today but it's going to be it's a special episode uh, having a guest builder here for this is tag um, so yeah we're with the Calicotherium we don't have one tamed up yet I guess I'm gonna have to go and do that later on or maybe we, we may just spawn them in I, we haven't really uh, discovered that uh, we discussed what we're gonna be doing for that one um, but yeah I think this could be a really really good episode uh, if you've seen any of tags videos you'll know how good he is at building and uh, so I'm really glad to have him on board uh, for this uh, very special episode so uh, let's dive in and uh, we'll see what he's up to what his thoughts are Oh, I should also say that uh, while we're here is that uh, I have actually added on the Structures Plus mod which we'll probably be using for this one and I've also added on um, Eco's mods, um, these kind of decorative ones where you can add trees and bushes and sort of decorative garden things, that sort of thing. So I think that's going to really add a real nice touch uh, to this exhibit and uh, yeah so hopefully um, you don't mind that we're straying a little bit from the usual formula but I think it will really be worth it for this episode, it's going to be really really special. So anyway let's go and see uh, what Tag has to say. All right, so me and Shredder found out exactly what we're going to build. Uh, well, where we're going to build. Not quite sure exactly what it's going to be yet, but um, we're going to build in this little spot here, and we know that we're going to put... Uh, we decided on Calicotherium, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah, so a uh, Calicotherium pen, and then we're going to do a building with a little walk-through tunnel that ramps up into an actual building up here where you can look at all the Calicotherium, and then maybe the building will be something in addition to that as well. We haven't quite decided what that's going to be, but I figured we'll get inspiration as we build, right? <laughs> yeah, sounds good to me. Now, um, I think if we start maybe like right here, and we'll build like a little entrance, although I want it to be... I just want to make sure. The nice thing about Structures Plus is you can actually pick these all up without destroying them now. Yeah. Have, have you used Structures Plus a lot? Yeah, I've used it in, a, in other series. This is the, the first time I've, we'll have it in this one, obviously, but um, yeah, I've used it before. Nice. Okay, cool. So at least you're fairly familiar with it. So um, I guess we'll just kind of build out as far as we can with platforms this way and then build it in with glass or on the sides so that visitors can be able to view what is in the pen as well and then once we hit the actual hill here we'll kind of ramp it up into the actual building okay so i was hoping it would be a little bit longer but i think that'll still work and then um i'm thinking glass through here and then we can start the pen going off of here so maybe if uh if you want to start building the pen around in the shape that you'd like i can start working on all this and we can kind of kill two birds with one stone yeah although um i'm thinking for the entrance we'll kind of build like a walls for the entrance part just on that wide and then have the doors into the actual uh tunnel if you can kind of yeah i think i know me yeah that. so if i just carry on from from this point with railings yeah yeah yep
right, so we've got uh, a lot going on. <laughs> we've realized that this paddock is going to be huge, so we've got some plans going on. It'll be a surprise because we'll, we'll show it off there at the end as we go. Um, but we've got the entrance going on here. Um, I figured I'll leave all of this bare, and there's a little opening in here. I don't know if there's anything you can think of that you might want to put in there, Shredder. Like, um, I'm not sure. We've got to look at what sort of decorations we could put in. I mean, we can to put in signs and things for information but um i'm sure we can find something something decorative to go in yeah. there yeah because we do have all the eco's props on here now so we could put like flowers and stuff and signs and they got all sorts of cool little props to go in places yeah um, so i figured i'll just leave that open and we'll kind of decorate it as we go probably at the end just uh once we figure out exactly what's going on and uh now we're going to build this up with glass i want to see with structures plus if we can put glass as well as um, metal fences around it to like add some extra protection. Let's see here, which I'm not sure. I haven't tried it out yet, so this may be an idea that doesn't end up working, which happens a lot. Yeah. And it works, nice. Okay, so yeah, we can put. Um... Why did it? Why? What? <laughs> Why? Did... Why did it work in one spot? That is that is strange. There's a slightly different snap. There? A slightly different snap point there. What is that? Is uh, weird. So you'd have. What is it snapping uh, to? No, no. Okay, so one thing will be snapping to the wall, and then one thing will be snapping to the ceiling. So if you do the, the glass snapping. That's weird. Yeah. So yeah, you just <laughs> need to re reverse these two. So. Um, I, I guess the, the glass wall will be, need to snap to the ceiling, and then the fence foundation will need to snap to the wall. So make sure that the yeah, yeah the glass wall has a higher snap point. All right, let's see here if we can, like that, yeah, and then, and then this should snap like that. Yeah. Nice. That looks Perfect. good. I think. Yeah, that looks really good. All right, so we'll build out the rest like this, and then uh, we'll bring you guys back when we get to the next part. Yeah. All right, so Shredder has done an amazing job of making all of these fences completely level. It looks really, really good. And um, we've got our entrance here going up. And we've discussed it, and we think we're going to do like an octagonal uh, building here. And then we'll do a little offshoot with another pathway going over here to the calico and the... Um, what are these things again? The, the iguanodons. Cool. Yeah, the struggle was real there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we're thinking of doing two paddocks, right? Instead of just one huge one? Yeah, I think so. I think this would be a bit too big just for the uh, the, the Callies to go in. Um, yeah. So we could yeah, have the, we'll have the Callies on the one side and on the other side something else, which we haven't decided yet. Yeah, we'll get there. And uh, this little octagonal thing is going to take a while. I was also, I'm glad I can actually say the word now because there for a while I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I was feeling awfully special, but um, have you thought had any thoughts of what uh what to put in the actual building yet? You want to do the cafe maybe? Yeah, I think a nice cafe would would look quite good. Yeah, because Eco's Mod's got some really awesome pieces for that, like all sorts of foods and and stuff like that will look really nice. Yeah. Nice. So yeah, uh, we'll just finish building out this little octagonal building, and uh, and we'll bring you guys back.
guys we're back and i think we've done well as i say we've done i haven't done anything i've been flying around watching but tag has done an amazing job at this um so we'll just have a little walk through what we've done uh we've still got the decorations to do so it's still definitely not finished but i thought you know this is a good point to kind of show you uh show you in so far so we've got this uh, little entrance here and you can walk straight through we're going to have two paddocks so uh, we're thinking well on the, this side we'll be having some direwolves and on this side is where the calicotherium is going to be uh, so we can go up this ramp into the main area, the main building, and uh, you've got a fantastic view over the enclosures and um, over this side as well for the other side. Uh, yeah, I think this looks really, really cool. Uh, we're going to have um, up here, we've got some, what we think is a seating area or something up here, so people can sit down and, and look out across the zoo. And uh, we think you're having um, like a, a cafe in here as well, so it's not just... Uh, a zoo enclosure we're also going to be people can sit around and have a bit of a picnic and things uh, as they watch the animals which i think is going to be absolutely amazing um so if we come down over this way we've got um i'll just tell you what i will just fly up a little bit so you can actually see uh better from above so we've got a couple of uh shelters for the animals to shelter in so we, this side is for the calicotheriums is sort of a, a decent sized area for them to kind of shelter in when the weather is bad uh, or if the sun gets too hot or anything like that and then over on the other side you've got a nice little uh, dog kennel for the direwolves to uh, to be in so i'm thinking this is looking absolutely amazing uh, but we've still got all the decorations to go so yeah well, well, what are your thoughts tag let us know what do you think um i'm thinking I don't know. <laughs> There's so many, so many different types of things, but there is a lot of tables and stuff. So we can put tables and chairs, and then the part of the eco props decor. They have a bunch of food, like um, bread and tea, and different types of things you can put on the tables. Yeah. Our our coffee mugs and stuff like that. So I think that would all look good in there. And then there's different types of plants too that might uh, be able to add a little bit of. Um, just, just a little bit of decor to it. Maybe some like ivy or something growing up the sides might look yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Um, what else? Oh, there's also um a bunch of mounted like dinosaur heads, which I don't know if that would be good or not. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that's a zoo yeah, thing. Yeah, I don't know if that's really a zoo thing. Then. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, um, flags and stuff too. Um, you can actually there's a flag for each type of um of dinosaur almost. Okay. And you can kind of put flags around for what what each type of pen is, which might be a cool thing to mm, add on really later. Good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the, that's what comes to mind. Otherwise, I'll have to look at everything and just kind of go with the flow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I think we're going to take a little bit of a break here, and we're going to uh, be sort of plan out some of the decorations and see what we're going to do. And um, and yeah, then I guess we'll we'll bring you guys back. All right. 
Okay, guys, we are back and we've uh, we've done, and I think it's turned out absolutely amazing. So I think it's time to give you guys a tour. So first of all, at the front here, we've got these lovely hanging baskets and these lamps uh, just to make the place look uh, pretty. It looks nice, nice and welcoming. And uh, if we go through into the main area, we can see we have a pack of dire wolves wandering around on this side here. Now we did spawn these in, which is not something I normally do, but uh, I think for this occasion. I think it's going to be absolutely fine because we want to make sure that they're all in there and that it looks absolutely amazing when this is, this is done. And of course on the other side we have the uh, Calicotheriums, uh, which can't see very well but they are there. If I duck down, there we go, we can see them nicely. <laughs> the, um, they're a bit bigger so you can't quite see them. But yeah, that looks like one of them's a bit stuck in his hut but um, he's obviously taking shelter. Yeah, it's quite bright and sunny at the moment. so. It's a very but, child friendly uh, walkway. Yes, <laughs> make sure it's, you're not going to get bitten. So here we go into the cafe area. So not only can you come and see the amazing animals, you can sit down and enjoy a delicious steak and corn uh, meal while you're watching with some lovely bread and a, a massive, is that a cake or a pie? It uh, looks, it looks it's delicious. Yeah. It looks delicious, whatever it is. And uh, oh wow, that's right in the table there. <laughs> Let's get um, there. <laughs> that's fine. But uh, yeah, we got. Um, I've taken out the middle sections of the glass. With the S plus, you can alter the um, the sides and things. So to get a nice big window area, so you get a really an un unobstructed view out to there. I think that looks absolutely amazing out there. You can see that we put in some uh, snowy rocks and bushes to kind of make them feel at home from the snowy biome, and um, the same sort of thing with the calicotheriums over here. Snowy rocks and bushes. And uh, I think they're going to be really happy in their new home. And of yeah. course, and you did an amazing job decorating the little paddocks with the. Uh, I like the contrast with the snow and everything. Yeah, yeah, because um, yeah, obviously that's the, that's the best you could do to make it. You can't. We don't have snow ground or anything to cover it completely with snow. But um, I don't know. I think it, it looks just quite nice. Mm -hmm. And we've got these uh, yeah great flags around here, and we've got more lights. And uh, yeah, and up here we have a nice little balcony. Uh, you can sit out here. We haven't, uh, you know, looking out here, you can see the Iguanodon enclosure, but obviously this area over here is still plenty more enclosures that I can build out over this way. Um, lovely flowers. We've got some flower um, on, this, on the edge outside here. Looks, I think it looks really, really nice. So I'm super happy with it. Yeah, this was a, this was a really fun build too. I had a blast with it. I'd I was a little worried about doing a zoo enclosure because I'd never done it before, but after walking around and seeing all the stuff you had done, I was like, inspired to try and do something fun. Yeah, it. yeah, it's turned out amazing. I think what I'll do is have a quick little fly up and look at it from above. I will do the same. Oh, I can't type. <laughs> you can oh, see the all, worst. All, all the ivy around here just to kind of make it... It's, I mean, this looks so different to anything else that's, that's in the zoo. I mean, obviously, this is the uh, the first time that we've used any of the mods. So we've got Structures Plus and the um, Ecos mods that we've used to decorate it. And obviously, I've not used these for any of the other enclosures. Everything else has been built so far has been purely vanilla, uh, not even Structures Plus. It's just been vanilla building. So this is a real departure from my usual style. Um, but I'm really, really happy with it. And uh, I think definitely going forward, for, for my, from my case, um, it's definitely going to open up a lot more possibilities for future enclosures at the zoo. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to come back and visit after you get some more uh, enclosures done and see what you got going on. Oh, definitely. Thanks. Yeah. Man. Cool. Right. Well, I want to say a massive thank you to Tag. Thank you so much for coming along and and uh, building this for me. It's um, it looks absolutely amazing. Really, really happy with it. Not a problem, man. Thanks for inviting me. There was <laughs> when you, when you first said it, I was like, "That sounds like a lot of fun." So I was super excited to come on and try and give this a shot. Awesome. So yeah, so and, definitely uh, so for for my viewers, definitely go and check out Tag's uh, channel. He's got some amazing builds on there. Really, definitely worth checking out. Yep. Yeah, um, hopefully, I'll be able to come by and stop in for uh, when you get more going. Oh, definitely, yeah. Alright guys, well that is going to be all for today. I really hope you've enjoyed this very special episode. I want to thank Tag so much for helping me out 
and, and building this amazing thing. He did most of the work here and I just think it looks absolutely amazing. Uh, so as I said, definitely go check out his channel and uh, give me some feedback as well. What did you think of this episode and this style of building, uh, how it stacks up uh, with the rest of them? Because as I said before, everything I've done so far has been purely a vanilla build. There's been no mods at all in any of this stuff. Um, but uh, but this obviously has the Ecos mods and um, the Structures Plus. And uh, so let me think, going forward, um, how do you want to see this going? Um, obviously I've got these mods on here, they're not going to go away anytime soon. Um, and I'm definitely, without a doubt, I'm going to be using Structures Plus anyway. But what about the Ecos mods, the decorations, is that something you want to see? I know this uh, was always a vanilla, uh, vanilla series, uh, not um, not modded. And um, I didn't want to stray too far from that, but I, th I don't know, is the the way it looks, the decoration, um, just making things look as, I mean, this is a building series now. I mean, this is this is not a survival series at all. I've said this before. Um, this is purely a building series, but I haven't really been doing um, creative building you know, with admin commands and flying around up until now. So um, how do you want to see this go forward? Should we continue... Um, how I have been doing it, or does it does it matter? Can we use admin commands to build things if they come out looking like this? So that's the kind of thing I want to know going forward. How shall we proceed with this series? I mean, I'll do whatever you guys want me to do, um, but I obviously want the enclosures to look the best that we can possibly do. Um, so here we go. Okay, so one last thing before I go, you may have seen the name here. Uh, we have a name for one of our dire wolves. Uh, this was requested by Wolf Queen, and of course I have named my wolf. Uh, where, where's she gone? Here I've named the uh, bright sort of albino, the bright silvery one. That's Wolf Queen. That one is for you. Hopefully you like it. Uh, yeah, so we have some uh, Charlie Catheriums, we have lots of dire wolves to name now, so if you want things named after you, any of the dinos here at the zoo, uh, don't forget to uh, let me know. So, that, yep, that's all. Thank you so much for watching. I would love to see some feedback in the comments. If you like this, don't forget to like, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. All the links to everything you need to know are in the description, including a link to Tag's channel. Definitely go and check that out. So, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Goodbye.